still remember when we first started to think about that maybe we suddenly had a, a, a new way to look at why early season weed control was so important. Well, we've, we've tried hard to keep up to date with some of um, Dr. Swanson's and some of the other research that is suggesting that early weed control definitely makes a difference and will make your crop if you, uh, especially on, on the years where it can be stressful later on. Farmers can only control so much risk. One of the risks they can control are their weeds. Well, with Dr. Swanton's work over the years, uh, I guess the main issue was early weed control. To, uh, in order to get better yields, um, the whole thing was to try to get, uh, especially in corn, to get uh, the weeds before the corn was at a three-leaf stage. What we do know is, is once it's above ground, that clearly the, the, the first few leaves are like antenna out there, trying to detect what is happening in the environment around me. What's the temperature out there? What is there pending competition happening? And it's sending signals back and forth between cells. And if it senses, for example, that there are other plants that shouldn't, you know, that are out there, it starts to trigger this classic shade avoidance. And, and we know that this happens very early, and it could be happening, you know, we, we've yet to discover that, but, you know, our questions are maybe it's even happening as soon as that, that seed is germinating and it's coming through the ground and it's beginning to detect some of those key environmental variables. Yeah, we've been reading a lot about uh, Dr. Swanton's work, and uh, he's got a lot of inter interesting stuff because uh, he's taught us to spray early and kill the weeds early so they don't compete with the corn. You want a plant when it comes out of the ground, my general philosophy is you don't want it to see green, okay? You, want, you do not want that to happen. And if it does see green, it triggers the shade avoidance. And we believe, our data at this point would suggest that you start to, to impact on the potential growth of that plant, whether it be in stem weight or in root weight, and those changes are starting to happen very early. Corn growth and development is altered, but most significantly we've seen a fairly consistent reduction in root biomass when there is this early weed signal. Because you can't see that effect in a plant, because you would walk that field and that corn plant would look like a regular corn plant. But in reality, what's happening at the cellular level, we believe that there are some significant changes happening. If you have reduced root biomass from very early on in development, you may impair access to you know, limiting nutrients like water, um, nitrogen, phosphorus. Reduced root biomass may also make you more susceptible to later season stresses, such as a drought. Um, and this may, again, be one of the mechanisms that early weed control contributes to the overall picture of yield loss. The weather is going to be the weather at the end of the day. And so what you want to do is minimize what you can control in terms of stressing the plant. And certainly getting good weed control early is an important part of helping to prepare your plants for any stress that may arise during the growing season. He's kind of taught us to uh, keep the fields clean early on in the season. It's better to have a clean field early on in the year than it is to be combined and have a clean field. Uh, a lot of farmers have, uh, they think when they see clean fields at uh, the end of the year that their weed uh, management program work well, but it's early on in the season uh, where you get your biggest bang for your buck. The most surprising thing that he had uh, discovered in his research is that the yield loss is already experienced at the one and two leaf stage. Often as farmers we see weeds, you know, four or five leaf, you say, geez, I better get this cleaned up, but it should have been done in a, in a uh, base program earlier in the season. We've always encouraged farmers, if you're going to err in your weed management d decisions, to err on the side of being very early because we think Earliness in, in weed management is much more important. What you do in the early development of a crop is much, much more important than how that field looks like at harvest time. And often we use the field at harvest to, to kind of judge whether the field was managed properly, it's good management, how did it look at harvest? And so what we're, we're suggesting here that you might want to consider a shift in really defining what makes good management in a crop and, and moving that shift to focus on earliness as being very central to your decision-making process. If you're in a certain area and you get too much rain, um, you can't afford to be doing weed control at the eight, seven and eight leaf stage, uh, which a lot of the new chemicals were allowing you to do, but 
uh, if you're already losing that yield beforehand, then if it's if it's done, uh, it done is done, I guess. The critical period is a guideline for farmers to use. Critical periods can change. It's a field by field uh, concept. The whole key in the spring is to um, to be cost effective and timing. Everything's on timing. I just think it's really important to get the weed free period. You know, for the at first is really important, especially in this area because we have so many grasses that they just they come really fast. Or you know, we also have a lot of lambs quarters. So. Um, the lamp, if you just use glyphosate, the lamb's quarters will get ahead of us. It's just, it's a knowledge base that you want to make decisions around. Um, certainly we believe that if you delay the, your controls, your control of weeds early on, that critical period is going to happen early in the life cycle of a plant. And all of a sudden you get this, this, this turnover, this switch. So the knowledge here is important to say that that if I leave my weeds too long, if I'm waiting to get as many weeds up as I can before I spray, this type of thing, that that type of strategy might, in the long term, change the pattern of growth and affect the yield potential of your crop. Uh, what, I, what we believe growers should be doing when they look at weed control is, is look at yield management as a whole. Don't necessarily look at weed control, at, especially at the time of combining, but look at yield management and see what you can get for yield by managing your weed control, especially early on. Early weed management is key to making sure that your corn plants uh, continue in their normal pattern of development. Everything on our farm is based on the end thing, which is yield. And so we try to strive for yield, and not uh, yield at a cost. But uh, early weed management is uh, probably the first step. One of the, uh, the, the, the best pre-emergence herbicides you have in terms of crop management is your crop canopy. The faster, there's a direct relationship to how much herbicide you're going to need depending on how early you can get that canopy filled in. I find early Primexer works really well in cases where you have glyphosate tolerant corn and guys are sometimes putting down nitrogen early. You can put the Primexer in with the nitrogen as a carrier and it saves them an extra pass and yet they get that really early weed control. If you have a crop that's thin and it's going to be slow to develop uh, a canopy, you're going, to, you're going to have to be very cognizant of your weed management program and perhaps come back more than once because that canopy is taking a long time to get in and, and it is not able to suppress weeds. If you get that canopy in there early, it will suppress the, the weeds and act as a very effective biological control of your weeds for you. We put Prime Extra down, uh, we come back in later on combining, it's always a clean field, always seems to work good. The number one goal, everything is about the plant health here at the end of the day. It's, it's really not necessarily about controlling weeds, it's about the plant health and maintaining that and maintaining your yield potential. So the, the, the sooner I can get my crop to fill canopy, the stronger my crop's going to be and the greater my yield potential will be. I find the results really encouraging. I, a lot of cases we saw more yield than we thought we were going to get, even looking at the crop. and. And some of that I attribute to weed control and I, I even went back on some of my own and put the prime extra down and never ended up going back with glyphosate because it, it stayed clean. So the results are really encouraging in the majority of cases as far as what we've seen. The corn never looks back on it. Uh, there's no stunning or burning or, or reduction in growth. It just carries right on throughout the whole season. A plant should not see green other than it's sister plant. So corn on corn is okay, but it shouldn't see green from weeds. Um, and if it does see green, you want to be sure that you're, you're in there early to get that out. Well, we've been using Prime Extra um, and we've been spraying it on before we plant and then work incorporating it into the soil. And we found that uh, we have very clean fields and uh, we followed up with Callisto, with a little bit of atrazine in it. And uh, our fields are pretty well weed free, uh, even though it's quite dry this year. By going early it has been beneficial to our um, farming practices that uh, gives us more time to do other things. Uh, we can keep uh, doing other jobs, whether it be planting or, or tilling or uh, fertilizer application. By going down early we know that we got something down to give us some protection for, for uh, depending on the weather, it could be uh, maybe some season long control, uh, might not be, but it gives us that option to, uh, to go on and do other things and to worry about 
um, other issues on the farm at that time. I think these things are happening like on a per minute basis. Like the clock is ticking. And if you think about the clock ticking and that that plant is able to sense and to make changes that fast, um, it truly is an amazing feat of biology. Protecting that early potential, protecting that early growth pattern of the crop is really a criteria on which to base your weed management decisions.